Hello everybody and welcome back to more Ziggurat. It's been a little while since I've played this, it hasn't been too long since I've uploaded, but uh, I may be a little bit rusty. And I'm excited to get back into it because a major update was just released today, featuring a new mode, a new enemy, new floor layouts, well the new floor layouts from the second update too, the, which I haven't recorded, but even more layouts, a visual update to some stuff, balance reworks, all kinds of new perks, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm just so freaking excited. I I took a break from this game, not because of anything to do with the game being bad. Uh, I remember Porcupine Bomb got changed in the fact that um, it does more damage but with the poison, but the poison doesn't last as long. And I think this is a good, very good change. And um, I suggested something like this in a in a video that I don't think got uploaded. Um, for technical reasons, but it's very good change. I, I think that that is exactly what Poison needs, because it's not a, it shouldn't be a set it and forget it kind of thing. That doesn't, and then you just have to, like, there's just not a lot of, wasn't a lot of reason to switch back and forth in between, um, gotta check my secret room, aha. Uh -huh. There wasn't a lot of reason to ch uh, to switch back and forth s or stay on it necessarily, unless it was like the best, just the best spell you had or best weapon you had, which wasn't very likely. So I think that is a very, very smart way of fixing the issue. It makes it more more hands-on, more active. You got to be applying poison more often to get your desired results. And um, can't remember if. This was in this was in the the first update, I believe, where they they tell you how much health and mana it re these require now, which is awesome. Earn twice the experience in your next combat. Very good. They also made a tweak to um what is it? Uh, they made a lot of tweaks. So I'll, I'll bring them up as I as I see them. But hopefully we can show off. We'll definitely, or not definitely, but more than likely be able to show off the new visual layout, because I think it just automatically appears on floor number two. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's only on some some floor twos, I don't know. Like Binding of Isaac-esque. But there, there's a, there's a, quite a few changes, and really, like, I didn't see any that I thought were... Oh my goodness, am I gonna die already? I didn't see any that were like rash or even like poor poorly conceived at all I thought it was very very good I uh yeah my not playing has is very apparent here unless they buffed these guys up like crazy which regain health by breaking things this is one of the new perks I believe um I think that's something that might be good for us like how much health do we get one that's you know that adds up over time and it encourages me to break the barrels that I usually neglect so that's good for a few reasons let's go ahead and go in here let's heal up on the barrels that's a the the new perks they added those were new in update number two they added um, oh gosh how many perks did they add Maybe it was, I think it was 15 or so. And all of them are really freaking cool. They're they're more in, intuitive. It's, well, not intuitive, but um, they're more they're more fun than the other ones. All the other ones, they need to be there. Don't get me wrong. I know they have to be there because they're the they're the simple perks. Like they, you, you need the basic ones to make sense. Like just, it makes sense. But these ones are are a little bit weirder. Like take your take a random weapon that you have and it is now your wand like it uses your wand mana instead like that's one of oh these flags are new what does that mean what are these flags for what are you here for and why aren't you on the wall that's interesting I wonder if they're not supposed to be on the wall I feel like they probably are ooh 
Is this a new room? I don't think this is. Maybe it is, though. I wish I had a, a list of the uh, balance... All of the balance changes, but... I'll re-look over them. I, I know that... Uh, some com commonly hated enemies were tweaked around a little bit. And... Made less annoying. Frozen Soul seems to be doing more damage than it did before. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... Based off of just feel alone... Oh, this is definitely a new room. This is from update number two. Yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this feels like it's doing a lot more damage. Which is good, because... The damage was very underwhelming. It was just used for utility, really, before. I'm liking that poison change a lot. I know that porcupine bombs were already strong. And I think other than their poison damage, they were nerfed a bit. I could be wrong. But, um, this poison change makes me excited. Yeah, that makes me excited for all the other poison weapons that I typically groan about picking up. I like this room. It's got some cool colors going on, and it kind of looks like a coliseum, almost, kind of kind of feel to it. And here we have Poloco, I believe? Which, or no, is this, this Sir Arthur? I wonder if they changed him. Because I always found, I found him to be pretty easy, but I don't know. That could just be because I've fought him a million times. It doesn't seem to be changed as far as... Honestly, actually, oh no, it's because I'm, I am playing as the, the Jester, that, and, um, I have a really good attack, or, run speed, so. It's pretty easy to avoid, but I think it, that may be because of that. And, um, I think this was the episode that I, that I couldn't get out. Oh, here, let's, what are we gonna do? Increase your alchemy damage. I'm probably gonna do that. We don't have a staff. I mean, it's a, it's a trade-off, but porcupine bombs are freaking awesome. And, um, hmm, what was I saying? They fixed a few score things, so score, I think, is a little bit, makes a little bit more sense. It's a little bit less based off of grinding, I think, which is good. Emberstone Quarry, this is definitely new. Oh, hell yeah. This is really neat. And of course, now I get my staff. Uh, yeah, I was messaging... Uh, I saw the the developers were working uh, on this. Oh, okay. So I think it's it's just a new tile set for some, some of the layouts, which... Uh, I am all freaking for that. Because the layouts are really cool. And I do like ha having all the new layouts. But this is such a simple... Well, I mean, it's, not, it's probably not simple, but... Just changing the visuals of it, changing the tile set is so cool to me. It feels like a completely different room that I've never been in before, but I've this layout, I, I mean, I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong, but I think this is a, a layout that's um, been in the game for a while, like since release. I need to make sure I get all these... That was a suggestion, I mean, it should be obvious, but that was a suggestion that was in the comments that I, sometimes I do rush a little bit and forget to pick up some stuff. Maybe I should. I'm not always too diligent, and I am aware, but, oh, I freaking love this quarry tile set. I, I love these tracks here, and the doors remind me of Legend of Zelda. This track makes no sense, though. I guess maybe this is where it starts. Okay, I could. That doesn't make. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It looks so sweet. I don't care. And this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm uh. I'm squealing like a little giddy kid on Christmas. I'm. I really like this game, and seeing all this great content coming out. For free? Oh, God. Come on. 
Well, I guess I'll have to really focus on blowing up barrels. Seeing all this content come out for free is really nice. Just gotta make sure. I wonder if there's a different visual for secret rooms. Oh, that is hard to see. We are gonna miss some secret rooms on this quarry, I feel. New perk? Yeah, obliterator! Oh, wait. Oh. Never- for some reason, I think this is old. I think this has always been there. Uh, greater attack rate and same for a lower mana pool. Clone of Binding of Isaac. I've never played that. I'll probably give it a- Being inferior to the original. Yeah. Well, I will probably end up giving that a shot, seeing as I'm playing a lot of roguelike games recently. Roguelike, roguelite, both. Yeah, we definitely want to... Boop, boop. Guess this will be a little bit more diligent of a run. Here, also... Can we break this? I don't want to spend too much time doing it, but there's... A lot of the things in the environment actually are destructible. Ooh, this is a new enemy. It's a... Uh... God, what is it called? Can't remember what it's called, but it's definitely new. Can I only attack it when its mouth is open? That appears to be the case. Okay. I like that. It's a it's a simp it's a simple enemy concept, but the thing with Ziggurat is when you add any enemy with even if it's a, a simple method to get rid of them, it's Oh, it's a bigger deal because you have to fight them in rooms, like, well, like a big cluster rooms, and you have to deal with them, and like, it, it, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you have to deal with them in a group, and you kind of have to like manage very well. Uh, the perk I got makes uh, reduced mana for alternate attacks, and alternate attacks are right click spells, or the right click versions. Uh, ooh, it's a cool little room. Oops, what did I just, how did I get rid of that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, goodness, I have not played in a while. Oh, kobolds. Olmar fish. We haven't seen too many Olmar fish so far. I, I, uh, I do apologize that, um, I had, I had quite a few videos that I was trying to record, but the game just was not working with me, unfortunately. And, um, I'm not gonna say anything about this run. I hope it, I hope everything goes well, though. I do hope. Um, and it just, there was something weird about the second update that didn't like me recording, but everything seems to be good now. And, uh, I'm very excited to get back into the game. Okay, so how much mana does our left click take? Six. And this one takes eight, which is significantly lower thanks to the perk. Let's see. Oop. Okay, so it's a one rank thing, so I guess it lowers them quite a bit, but you can't really rank it up. Uh, I'm playing as the Jester, the Harlequin, Harlequin, I don't know, I always call it the Jester. Uh, mystery boxes will be safer, drop more treasure, uh, you encounter treasure rooms more frequently. This is a huge one, increase enemy drop rate, five ranks of it, and five ranks of speed. It's very huge, actually, the, uh, the drop rates. Getting that right off the bat means a lot more experience, or not, not a lot more experience, a lot more uh, health drops, which is a big deal. Because you, especially since you start out with such a low health pool compared to other classes. This is a very pretty room in here. I, I feel so, so greedy always saying, saying this, but it comes out of, out of a place of pure love. And it's that, um, I really want to see more.
content out of this game, always. Like, I, I seeing this, uh, the new room layouts, or the uh, tile sets, make me just want to see a million more tile sets. It just looks so good. Makes me feel greedy, but it, it I, I promise it just, it just comes out of a, a place of pure appreciation. I want more because I love it so much. And, and like, I don't even expect more. It's like, at this point, I'm already, I'm already pleased with the game. They, they wouldn't have to do anything else to make me happy. They've already made me happy. We need to, uh, check ourselves before we wreck ourselves, though. Health is not too high. And we do get less health from health drops, so we really should be very diligent. Uh, with smashing those barrels, which is something that I've not been too good at. Ooh, we're doing pretty good on this room so far. I wonder if they... Tw I think they might have tweaked the kobolds. Because... I, I could be wrong, but it, it just seems like I, I'm... I, I usually get hit by them all the time, so... It seems like their... AI might have been tweaked down a little bit? Could be wrong. Greater attack rate, lower mana pool. Hmm... I'll just go with the greater staff attack rate. Because then, then I don't have any trade-off. And it's less of a gain because I don't get it with the other stuff. But honestly, fire rate with the porcupine bombs, I don't care that much about. Because they're just so strong. I need to really pick up this stuff. They're so strong. Oh, also we probably get... Some health for breaking that as well. Because it just says for destroying things. Yeah, I, I think it's really unlikely that I'm going to... be finding these secret rooms... without assistance. Because... it's very difficult to see. If I, um... had to guess based off of the other one looking at the bottom of it is going to be the best telling factor because it looked like there was a more cracks towards the the bottom but we're just gonna have to look I don't know really hard at the outer rings it's definitely not gonna be in here I want to try to get to it if I can because uh, we're not we're not doing poorly we're just we're not doing that great either um we just, we gotta be safe. And finding the secret room is very safe. Nobody has ever questioned the power and skill of the noble wizards of Greyhorn. However, in the harsh ziggurat test, no one has managed to escape with all limbs intact. One can only wonder what can be inside this puzzling labyrinth to stop anyone from getting out alive. The Wizards of the Order by Retromorph. Oh, this is a wonderful healing room I, I'm gonna leave the books in here because <laughs> uh, it can be my last-ditch healing room if things get real sketchy where the F is the secret room yeah it you know I do not fault them for making this hard to find at all I kind of like it a lot also hold on you earn a new magic weapon. What do we get? Oh, it's a new staff. Ooh, I have Twilight. Everybody knows how I feel about it. I love the staff. It's very good. Oh, we already have the f secret room. Oh my god, Retromation. Retromation, please. That's what you're all saying, I know. I'm so sorry. Sometimes, you just get caught up in in the the momentum yeah they changed the obelisk room so the enemies no longer drop score goblets that was a huge change for people abusing this point system to just get high scores that's something i never did but i i got quite a few high scores and i never abused that so i f 
as soon as I figured out that was a thing, I felt really good about myself. <laughs> I was a uh, rank one for a long time. I wonder if I still am on um, normal mode alchemist. Uh, it's a shot in the dark. I got a few high scores, and uh, but I think one of the alchemist runs was my best. Ladies, what are you doing? Oh! I like this little enemy. Ugh. It's, it's gross, but I love it. I always like... I like plant-themed enemies. I think it all comes back from my... Uh, it's got a pretty easy attack to, to dodge, but... I could definitely see how it would be easy to get overwhelmed by them. There's a group of them, it's quite hard. I'm excited to see, they changed the, oh this is probably going to be positive since we're the Jester, could be wrong. Uh, I'm excited to see what they've done to the shield skeletons. Greater attack range change for lower mana pool. Because uh, they, they changed them in update number two. Some people didn't really like the change, I was fine with the change, I liked it. Um, and then I think they tweaked it a little bit more with update number three. And we're going to be fighting Queen Amanda in the mines, which is very cool. I can't... We're only on the second floor. It, it's... Coming from Binding of Isaac, that's very strange. Are you Queen Amanda? You are Queen Amanda. Oh, let me poison you. Come on. I, I need to really pay attention more. Because I, I things can go very awry very quickly. I'm gonna use the right click. It seems like it's a little bit more focused. And, uh, we we all know I have the, uh, reduced mana perk. Regain health by... Okay, lose 20% of your maximum health to choose two more perks. 20% of our maximum health... Oh my god, I gotta do some math here. Well, okay. Mmm, I don't really know if I want to choose two more perks. I don't have that much health right now. Which is good and bad. It means It means I'll lose less health, but it also means I'm, I'm at a lower position. This is hard. This is actually... I'm really thinking about it. Um, it's like... That's like 12. Or, I mean, it is 12 health. So I'd be down to 48, but I get to, I'm going to do it. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, swap weapons faster. I do like that one. And I'm gonna go with that. Not really worth it yet. Mana gems can fill other pools. Worth it? We will see. If I die? No. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's the reason. I was really hoping for a health, just like a straight up health upgrade. That would have been... I would have... It was kind of a risk. I mean, it is a risk. But I, I like that. I like that they got those... They have those perks in there... In here now that really make you... Consider. Uh, Frozen Soul... I kind of want to try out the new Viper Fangs. And this is a new room as of update 2. The freeze spell is so much better now, though. I don't know... I don't even know if they changed it. It just feels so much better, though. I'll take this for one room and see how it fares. Uh, it's better. It feels better. But still, I don't know. I think I'm gonna switch it back to the Frozen Soul. I'm glad I tried it out. It does feel better. It, feel, it feels um, more rewarding to, to keep on stacking, which is uh, like should obviously be true. Oh, I'm gonna get this shaman out of the way. That's where the carrots are coming from. Fool. We also can, um, sort of maybe try to min max our damage versus mana output a little bit by waiting to refresh the poison with the bomb a little bit. Oh. 
Probably not the best weapon to have in close quarters combat. Oh, I didn't switch the weapon back. Ooh. This right click feels very nice, though. This takes seven mana versus three mana. Oh, okay. It's quite the trade-off, but it's a very, very strong attack. I might keep this after all. Just because that, that right click does feel very nice. This could be a good room clearer, because I can just poison them up and uh, ditch them. So th these guys are probably going to be dead, right? Yep, when I walk around the corner. Oh, he's invisible. Woo. All right. Eat my poison. Viper. Wait, where are you? I thought I saw one over here. I guess I'm blind. Viper! Fang! I love it. it okay, it's it's significantly better. I think... I think it's significantly better. I like the change. Oh, this is my favorite new room. Even though it's, like... It's, it's very, like, kind of tough for the player. I think. Because everything is so spaced out. But it's also not... Because the people on the bottom can't really get to you. Depending on the enemies in it, it can be it could be quite difficult. If you got some um, flying people, it's, it's a little bit hard to maybe get the drops if you kill them right in the middle. Ooh. Because then they'll fall down into this pit, but it's so beautiful. I, I think this is really good looking. What do you guys think of the, the updates? Or if you know really anything about it. What do you think about it? It's so good. Uh-oh. Okay, he's... Is he gonna die by poison? He's gonna die by poison. Oop! Alright. I think I got them all. Yes, okay. Gotta get my drops, gotta get my drops. I just... I'm so proud of you, Milkstone. I'm so proud of you. They can really... They they have all the tools and all the initiative to turn this game into something really great. I, I believe it very firmly. You're gonna die. You're gonna die too. I want that. Boom. Definitely want more experience. Rarely, rarely, rarely will I pass that up. Unless... I don't know, it's, it's, unless there's like a really fun perk that I would be missing out on, I, I don't know, I just, it's so good. Where is, where would the secret room be? I'd assume up here. Almost no reason, like, I don't know. I can't see a situation where I'd pass up a mystery box as the the Harlequin. We're just drinking a little bit of fruit punch there. Ooh. Some retromation trivia for you if you haven't been around the channel for a while. I freaking adore fruit punch. Like, oh dang it. So I, I always forget that some people might want to see those. Uh, I freaking adore fruit punch. I drink it, like, literally probably every single day <laughs> and um, I don't know it's not a problem I can stop whenever I want he says this is a very cool room with a neat little feature right there I love that it's so cool <laughs> um, this room oh is we're doing really bad you gotta get this salamander is pooping on us. Oh, thank God. He dropped so much health for us. Come on, Obelisk. I need the health. Oh, my. No health? Are you kidding me? That's weird. Oh. Nelly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is bad. Oh. 
Well, it happens. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm, you know, I gotta get back into the swing of the game somehow. If uh, losing is the way to do it, then losing's the way to do it. I'm, I mean, hey, oh, we got some new, some new perks as well. Get fast health regeneration, but your max is decreased by seven. Wow. It's gotta be, that, this is something that would maybe be really good to get as a gambit early on. Um, depends how, what is fast? How fast is fast? Magic wand will have the chance to stun enemies. Ooh. I'm picturing something magical with like, you get Eye of Twilight, you get, you get the perk that turns your weapon into your wand. You get Eye of Twilight with the rapid attacks and the chance to stun. Oh, I'm picturing something very magical. Anyways, I'm glad everything worked out, and technically, I'm waving my arms around like a freaking idiot in real life here. You guys can't see that. I'm glad. Uh, but I'm very glad everything worked out technically. The update 3 is so good. So good. I uh, love that I get to play this game again. And uh, yeah, check it out. Check out the future episodes of the series. The subscribe if you want to be notified when they're out. I'll probably up be uploading them every few days or so, or more or less, depending on what you guys give me for feedback. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Seriously, I really appreciate getting any, any kind of feedback. Seriously. Thank you all for watching. Thank, thank you. See you next time.